everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Selule Kokwabe I am a fourth year medical student at Wits University in this video I'll be sharing the textbooks that I highly recommend that I used during my third year of medical school so if that sounds like something that you're interested in please stay tuned so the first textbook I highly recommend is Taylor and Lacona this textbook is excellent for long-term learning and it very good in collaborating or linking together the physical signs of a disease together with the disease in the body system and it focuses more on the clinical history clinical examinations and it gives a lot of images so that you understand better this textbook will help you know exactly which questions to ask to diagnose a patient during um, a soski or a practical examination and will help you learn how to do um, clinical examinations on the patient as well as which signs or symptoms to be most aware of for a particular disease. The next textbook I highly recommend is Underwood's Pathology. So this textbook is really good in explaining the pathology of a disease as well as the mechanism of the, of the disease. So it actually shows pictures or illustrations of the disease in the human body as well as show pictures in a microscopic level of the disease so it's a very good textbook i highly recommend it because pathology is a huge a huge part <laughs> a huge part of medicine if you know your pathology yeah you will be a good doctor that's for sure the next textbook i highly recommend is medical microbiology a guide to microbial infections this textbook is really good in giving the basics of microbial biology infections immunology um, the disease in in relation to the microorganism as well as has pictures of how the microorganism looks in a microscope because you get tested on that as well as how the microorganism looks when it has infected the patient so how the how the wound looks like for, for a certain um, disease or for a certain microorganism rather <laughs> so yeah it's a very good textbook i highly recommend it it also has you know the parasites such as the worms because in part of micro microbiology we also do worms and spirochetes and, and all other things that are I don't know in my opinion they're not really micro microorganisms but it also has all those components so you won't have to buy another textbook it's all in one textbook so I highly recommend this one it's, it's a very very good textbook it, it's well designed even inside it has a lot of pictures that are friendly and the text is also very much friendly and engaging so yeah I so the next textbook I highly recommend is The Basics of Clinical Pharmacology. This textbook um, addresses the use of medication and how to monitor the consequences of that medication such as the side effects or the adverse effects. It also has a lot of case studies to help you better your understanding and also has, which is my favorite, also has um, summary diagrams and a lot of tables. So they group together um, the similar type of medication that will help a patient maybe it does the same um, the same kind of work but then has different adverse effects so in one table they'll have all the all that medic all of those medications and then what they do all together and then how they differ from one another even though they do the same thing so what's the specific difference because that's what we get tested on the difference even though they are similar but what is the specific difference for each medication so it has that as well as over 300 examples of these medications which i think is great so this is a really really good textbook so check it out my last um, recommendation but definitely not least is um Netta's flashcards or Netta's anatomy flashcards. These cards are the best. 
guys they have over 250 flashcards inside there with high quality illustrations and they have detailed description and clinical notes at the back which i think is amazing what i like the most about these cards is that you can just you can use them on the go <laughs> i can just take a few of these cards let me just show you quite nicely so this is the illustration there are numbers here and then you actually test yourself there are numbers here and then at the back they tell you what what name that is and this thing doesn't want to focus i don't know what's going on but you guys get the point and then these are the detailed um description or the clinical notes that i spoke about so what i like the most is that i can just take a few cards you know and just go to the mall on my way to the mall i'll be reading my cards reading and understanding i don't even have need to carry a textbook which i think is very like inconvenient so this is this is great this is amazing and this is for someone who had not done anatomy before so as for me i did not do anatomy in detail as how medical school students should do anatomy i was doing anatomy for you know getting to medical school through the wet so I, I was doing anatomy for the wet so now this is biting me because they're now asking us questions based on the anatomy so they may not be like specific to the anatomy it would be a disease on the anatomy so if i don't know where that part of the body is i really cannot understand the disease and then i've heard that if you would like to be a surgeon so you don't know anatomy like it'd be really really hard for you to do that because when cutting you have to know where you're cutting and then what's the what's the what could be damaged if you cut in that particular way so yeah guys i think this is a very good investment it's a very very good investment these cards are just they're great they are a lot of body systems here that you can just you know study on the go so yeah so bonus items that you need for third year which are not necessarily textbooks are a, uh, a bp cuff a stethoscope and scraps but all these three items you can get them at school um through a loan in a way <laughs> but obviously you pay them back when you have a bursary or something because that's how i put my things that's how i put my scrubs my stethoscope as well as the pp cuff i didn't have any financial sponsor whatsoever i just ordered the items through the school and then i got the items at the exact time that everyone in my class was getting them and then now that um you know bigger buddy came through so yeah and then this big um sponsor that came through so they paid for my third year financial year and then now i've paid for all my items that i took on loan and i don't think there is an interest or something i don't know though but i don't think so so if you're wondering which items i'm actually speaking about if you'd like to buy them before you get to school or whatever so this is litmus litman sorry litman classic 3 stethoscope so yeah i have unboxed this stethoscope and my bb cuff as well as my scrubs during another video so if you haven't seen the video i'll link it down i'll link it here i'll link it here and then this is the thumbnail of my video so check it out to see the kind of you know scrubs we wear because apparently we have the class scraps where it has your name the um, the school logo um and it's, it has to be the same color so everyone ha wears the same color i don't know maybe because we go to hospitals afterwards and clinical clinical skills they i don't know they have to see that you are a third year or a fourth year based on your scraps i don't know but on those specific dates dates even though you have your own scrubs your own colored scrubs you are required to wear the 
the class scraps so i think that makes sense so these are the items you guys so yeah yeah that's it guys for the video thank you so much for watching for watching till the end i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to you know support the channel and support the algorithm of youtube so thank you so much bye